guys, a buddy of mine give me six poles and I'm gonna use these things for building the uh, sawmill shed. We're gonna put over the sawmill, but we're gonna put the mill somewhere right in that area and build us a nice sawmill shed right over the top of it. Kind of keep it out of the weather. What we're going to do, we're going to make that uh, the woodshed. I th we're talking about 12 foot deep and then 24 long. So we'll have a little extra room around it. And we may even go 14 deep. I'm not sure. But we've got some trees already that we've cut down for our fire department. And I got two of them cut at 24 feet long. And they're 15 inch diameter, 16 inch. I just gotta go get them next week. And I'll show you that when we start loading them up. We're gonna get this thing built, get that sawmill out of the weather, help it last longer. Thank you guys again for watching. And if you're interested in renting the cabin, we've been renting it out, it's doing really good. It's on Airbnb. All right, that's the first hole. Almost three feet deep. I'm gonna put concrete around them. And I got those telephone poles I showed y'all earlier. So that's what's gonna go in here. Well, guys, I got my first pole in. Got it all squared up. I got it braced off. So it's looking good, got it all level. And I went around back and came back in my hole, the water's coming out of the ground, <laughs> but that's okay. That's one thing nice about Quickcrete. I can fill that full and Quickcrete will get hard underwater. It works really good, that's how we've I've helped on a lot of boat docks and other things, putting those sauna tubes down. And that stuff just gets hard as could be, even underwater. 
So I got to get some quick creed tomorrow. Get that one solid up. But it's turning out good. And my little, little crane showed you digging with it just a minute ago. My auger system that goes on it. It's fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to call it a night. It's starting to get dark on me a little bit. And uh, I have three across the back. And I'm setting them 22 feet. And my beam's going to be 24. So uh, on the front beam, I'm going to let it hang over a foot on each side. Make it look nice. So we will talk to you later. All right, I got one more. I got my hand that I I crushed a couple years ago is really getting cold. I don't have good circulation in it anymore. So I'm gonna have to warm it up. And I'll come back and finish the other hole. So we'll get we'll get back with you. Well as you can see I got up all four poles. Or excuse me, five poles. I have trouble counting sometimes. I got my shoes on, <laughs> but uh, they're turning out good. Going to have to let them set up for several days. And uh, then I have to go get the trees off some other land that we're clearing. And that's where my 20, two 24 footers are and some of my others for this. So when I go to do that, we'll get back with y'all. Hope y'all are having a good winter. Crazy Brody coming out. <laughs> easy, easy. Ah.
see any ear protection. I don't see any eye protection. I don't see anything safety. I was thinking about that while I was cutting. Obviously not thinking enough. I'll go get Is this why God invented women? I'll go, I'll go get it. <laughs> I should have it on. <laughs> okay. He used our laser level. At night. At night. Because it doesn't show up during the day very well. So he came out here at night and he marked the tops of all the poles even. We couldn't really measure up from the ground because we don't have a slab. So then the ground's all uneven. So he used that and now the back ones, he's measuring down what, a foot? Foot. Yeah. So it's only going to be about a one pitch. This is there's about 12 feet in between the post. Yeah. You always have your safety on. <laughs> so your wife doesn't hurt you. Don't forget to put your ear protection I on. I won't. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Looks a little scary, sir. <laughs> I said that looks a little scary. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Glad that didn't fall on your leg. That would hurt. Oh, gotta cut a little bit off that one. Right on the line. We got some gravel coming in today to put here so this won't be such a muddy mess. Plus to level it out. Then I've got all of those logs to cut up. We won't notch it till we get the beam made. Yeah, so we know what size. We'll know exactly the size. Already now. I get the gravel in here, we'll get the mill set back up. We're gonna have to cut a super long beam. It's actually longer than our mill yeah. for the front side. 24 so, feet. So There's two of them down there. Hopefully we'll be able to get that done. That's gonna be that's gonna be a job. We can do it. 
guys, just want to let you know what we're starting to do here. We've got uh, two of these big oaks that I picked up. I've had them laying here for, oh, probably, I don't know, close to a year. But uh, I'm going to take them and cut them into cookies about four to five inches thick. And uh, we're going to uh, try to make some stuff out of them. We're not sure what we're going to do with them yet, but i got some um i've already cut one up a little bit but that's what we're going to do with those we don't want to let them rot yeah we don't let them rot guys you remember back in uh video number eight where i showed you i split that tree in half it was like three foot diameter it's a big and, old oak yeah big oak and uh i'm going to go ahead and quarter this thing into uh, two more quarters and then we're going to uh saw it put it on the mill and, and turn it into uh Quarter saw. Quarter saw. I keep forgetting that. Quarter. You saw it into quarters. Not 50 cents, but quarter. <laughs> but uh, we're going to turn that into quarter sawn wood, and uh, we've already done a little bit in there, but we'll show it, we'll show you that show you that later. Yeah, we've got one up on the mill getting yeah. ready to go. Yeah. One of the quarters he already did. Yeah. Down to the cool stuff now. Look at that. Look at the black in it. Uh huh. I like these where those bumps were on it. It's like starburst. Yeah. That's gonna be pretty. I know. Oh wow, look at that weird triangle over there. What's that? Look at the weird triangle shape right there. Oh wow. There. Oh man, look at that. Huh. That almost looks like some of the sap wood on the outside. Let's and see then, if any of this is rotten. Yeah, you, you can epoxy it. Epoxy it with something. Yeah. That's cool. It's coming up pretty good. I'm going to walk just a hair right like here, but that's right. on oak that we just milled. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, look at that. There you go. Isn't that pretty? You put water on it. Yeah. That's what it's going to look like on that One edge. edge. And we've got some of this in the garage that's, uh, what, 15 inches wide? Yeah. Right around here. There's another one that we got off of that batch. Well, look at that. It's pretty. Pretty. Here's a couple more of the boards that we did quarter sawn. You can see the really pretty pattern in them. This big one is 17? Yeah. Yeah. 17 to 18. It's not quarter sawn quite all the way across. The edge over there doesn't have the quarter sawn pattern to it. But. Yeah, you can kind of see it here too. Mm -hmm. My chainsaw got into there. Well, we got the pose in. 
I've got all the gravel in. Yeah, I got the mill back in there and she's all leveled up, ready to go to work. I just gotta get Cindy out here to put her to work now. And she's good at running this thing. But uh, I've got my posts cut off. I got them probably a one pitch. I cut those off a foot and it's 12 inch, 12 feet wide, so it's around a one pitch. Uh, those back posts there, uh, that one right there is a foot lower. Each one of the back ones are a foot lower than the two front ones. So we're getting ready to cut up some, some wood and I don't have much. <laughs> Got me another pile out here now. And uh, that's where my 24 footer is. So anyway, we cleared a lot for the our fire department. Uh, we're getting and uh, I got all the pine off of it kind of nice so anyway we're going to get that going and we'll uh, show you some more when we start to put the roof on well, we've had a little rain this morning last night this morning there's a low water bridge by our house pretty sure you're not going to make it through that 